Nissan's third generation LEAF is now rolling quietly off the line in Sunderland, and it is a bigger deal than just a new model. This moment is the real world proof of Nissan's EV36 Zero plan, where electric vehicle manufacturing, battery production, and renewable energy are designed to work together in one ecosystem. When you picture the future of car building, it is not just robots and shiny floors, it is how quickly a factory can change, how consistent the quality is, and how ready the supply chain is to support it. Sunderland is showing exactly that. Nissan says building the new LEAF in the United Kingdom represents a 450 million pound investment across its operations and supply chain. There is history here too. The LEAF helped kick off mass market electric vehicle adoption more than a decade ago. And now it is back with a new generation and a new mission. Nissan leadership framed this as the start of a fresh chapter with a smarter, sleeker, more aerodynamic shape that is meant to feel modern before you even talk about range or charging. One of the most important details is what had to happen behind the scenes. Nissan transformed the Sunderland plant so that Line 2 can build electric vehicles for the first time. That sounds simple until you realize how many systems need to change at once. The company brought in factory of the future technology with intelligent use of big data, virtual reality, and digital mapping to plan and refine production. In the press and plastic shop, Nissan installed 137 new press dies to form 42 different body panels. In the body shop, 78 new high-tech robots were added, including a fully automated laser welding setup designed to craft a seamless roof with precision down to 0.3 millimeters. Paint and final assembly were upgraded too. New paint options were added to support fresh colors like Sukumo Blue and Luminous Teal. In trim and chassis, Nissan added a state-of-the-art battery marriage facility. Using fully automated technology to bring the battery pack into the vehicle and apply 26 bolts in 56 seconds. To keep parts flowing smoothly, 475 new automated guided vehicles were introduced to deliver components directly to the production line. And none of this works without people, so Nissan backed it with more than 360,000 hours of training across a team of 6,000. The launch was marked with a ceremony right next to the production line, and the message from local and national leaders was clear. This is not just a car story, it is an industry story. The United Kingdom government highlighted Sunderland's role as a major automotive hub and pointed to broader national investment into the sector. Right outside the plant, the bigger EV360 picture becomes even more real. A new AESC Gigafactory has been built nearby, set up to supply next-generation battery technology with increased energy density. The goal is simple, better range and performance, supported by a stronger local supply chain. Nissan has been building the LEAF in Sunderland since 2013, with 282,704 produced at the plant so far. The first new LEAF off the updated line was a two-tone luminous teal evolve grade, equipped with a 75 kilowatt hour battery, offering up to 386 miles of range on the worldwide harmonized light vehicles test procedure cycle. Charging capability moves the story forward as well, with support for 150 kilowatt direct current, fast charging, and a claim of up to 273 miles added in 30 minutes. Inside, Nissan is leaning hard into the connected experience. Google built-in services, twin 14.3 inch screens forming a digital cockpit, and Nissan Connect services that support remote battery checks, climate preparation, and journey planning, all aim to make the LEAF feel like it belongs in everyday life, not just in a press release. What is next matters too. Sunderland will follow the LEAF with a new all-electric Nissan Juke next year, both built on Line 2, and the plant will continue producing everything from fully electric vehicles to hybrid models, including Nissan's e-power technology on Qashqai, 
and Juke hybrid electric vehicle models plus internal combustion engine vehicles. Nissan Technical Center Europe in Cranfield, Bedfordshire also played a key role in shaping the LEAF's design, technology and driving character with much of that work carried across to United Kingdom, Japan and United States versions. At the end of the day, this is what progress looks like when it is real. A product, a factory, a battery supply chain, and a workforce that has been trained to deliver it. If you want the electric vehicle era to be more than talk, it has to look like Sunderland does right now.